A life in prison or the death penalty. A Pinellas County jury will decide what happens to admitted cop killer Marco Perea Jr. He already avoided a trial by pleading guilty to shooting and killing Tarpon Springs police officer Charles Kondak. Now Eric Waxler shows us the arguments both sides are now making in Perea's sentencing phase. In court today, the defense says they are not going to dispute that Marco Perea Jr. fired the shot that killed Officer Kondek, but they are trying to show what led him to that violent night. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. Seven shots fired at Officer Charles Kondek. Assistant State Attorney James Hellickson told the jury one of those shots hit the father of six just above his bulletproof vest. Kondek came to a Tarpon Springs apartment complex in 2014 checking on a noise complaint. Prosecutors say Perea, who was on probation at the time, had gone there looking for a former roommate he thought snitched on him, leading to his arrest. A witness testified Perea told him that night he was in the mood to kill someone. When Kondek showed up, Perea turned the gun on him. He pulls out with his gun from the back pocket and then they start shooting at each other. Okay, does he actually, does Marco actually shoot through into the car where you're at? Well, yeah, they shot through the car because when I look down, that's all I hear is glass. No one is going to try to excuse what he did. Maria's defense is trying to convince a jury not to sentence him to death. They plan on going into his troubled childhood, including abuse from his mother. She was bad, Mom. She hit him. She beat him. She hit him with belts. The jury also saw dash cam video from another Tarpon Springs officer. You can see Perea drive away in an attempt to escape, but he eventually crashes nearby and is arrested. You can also hear the frantic radio calls as officers realize one of their own uh, is down. Everybody in right now. We have an officer down. Uh, Gunshots fired. Get everybody here now. And then their desperate attempts to try and save him. Under a new law, the jury will have to be unanimous in giving the death penalty to Perea. Otherwise, he will get life in prison. In Pinellas County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.